So let's understand the geometric intuition of DSNY. Okay, so let's assume I have a high dimensional space. Okay, let, let me say that here is my d dimensional space and I'm trying to embed these points into a two dimensional space. Okay, so this is my d, d dimensional space, this is my 2D space. Now let's go over it. Let's take a simple example. Let's assume, let's assume I have a point x1. Okay, and let's assume I have points x2 and let's say x3. Okay, and let's assume I have two other points. Let's call them x4 and sorry, and x5. Okay, so let's assume x2 and x3 are in the neighborhood of x1. So neighborhood of x1 contains, let's say, x2 and x3 in the d-dimensional space, which means these distances, which means these distances, this distance and let me change the color here, and this distance are small. On the other hand, this distance bit from x1 to x4, sorry, I think I drew, I didn't draw the line properly. It's a little tricky, okay. Okay, which means, um, um, okay, let, let me just um, put it this way, okay, which means x1 to x2 is, this distance is small, x1 to x3, which is this green line is also small, but x1 to x4 and x1 to x5, okay, and x1 to x5, these distances are large. So this is large, this is large, and these, this is small and this is small. And there is one more distance here. One more distance is this distance. So this distance is also small, which means x4, in the neighborhood of x4, you will find, sorry, you will only find x5, okay? So let's assume this is how my d-dimensional data is. What TSNI tries to do is, it tries to, for every point here, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, it tries to embed them, it tries to embed this data into a low-dimensional space, such that, this is important, this is very, very important, such that, for first I'll try to embed x1, okay? Okay, this is d-dimensional, imagine, so let me call this x1 dash. So each xi belongs to rd here. In this case, each xi dash belongs to R2, two-dimensional space. This is a d-dimensional space, okay? So the way I try to do it is, first I place my x1 dash. I can place it anywhere, right? Doesn't matter. What I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to preserve this neighborhood, which means I want to place my x2, okay? I want to place my x2 dash and x3 dash such that my x1 to x my distance, this is this this orange line here is the distance between x1 and x2, right? So I want to preserve this distance. I want my x1 dash to x2 dash distance to be also very similar. So I want this distance between, so I want the distance between x1 and x2 to be roughly equal to the distance between x1 dash and x2 dash because x1 and x2 are in the neighborhood of one another. Similarly, I want to preserve. So if I take this here, this is x1 and x3 distance. I also want to preserve x1 and x3 distance. Okay, I want the distance between x1 and x3 to be roughly same as the distance between x1 dash and x3 dash. So here, what am I doing? I am preserving, I am preserving distances of points in a neighborhood. Okay. But the question is what happens to x4, x5? What happens to these dark blue and this brown brown lines? So what I do here is I'm, I'm only trying to preserve the neighborhood. This is the neighborhood of x1. Right? For the points which are not in the neighborhood, I can, I can place them anywhere. I do not promise that I'm going to preserve the distances. I only, so TSNI as, as an idea tries to only preserve the neighborhood. Points which are farther away. For example, let's take let's say let's say this point is your x4. Okay. Your x4, I, I will not say that this x4 distance here okay, is same as this blue one, which means I'm not saying that dx1 x4. I cannot say, I cannot say the relationship between dx1 x4 and x1 dash x4 dash. These need not be same or even close. Okay, I'm not promising anything here. All that I'm saying here, so this distance 
need not be same or even close to this distance. But between x4 and x5, between x4 and x5, I will try to preserve this distance. I will try to preserve the distance between x4 and x5 because they are in the neighborhood. Right? So the distance between x4 and x5 is same as distance between x4 dash and x5 dash. So TSNI literally says that I will try to preserve the neighborhood of so points which are in a neighborhood I will try to preserve those distances points which are farther away for example similarly x1 to x5 right x1 to x5 I will not make any guarantees I will not make any guarantees of that this will be same as this okay just like this I will not make any guarantees for x1 and x5 because they are not in the neighborhood so TSNI in a nutshell in a nutshell if I if I have to summarize TSNI in one sentence it it's basically a neighborhood, it's basically a neighborhood preserving, neighborhood preserving embedding. So it tries to preserve the distances in a neighborhood. Distances which are outside the neighborhood, it doesn't make any promise. It If it, if it can, it would, but it doesn't guarantee anything. Okay, so, uh, so that, that, that's, that's Disney in a nutshell. Now, the next concept is we understood the we understood the geometric intuition. What about the mathematical uh, mathematical formulation? Um, the mathematical formulation of TSNI is very very uh, is almost is is fairly advanced. Um, is the mathematical formulation is fairly advanced because remember this is a technique from two thousand eight. This is not some twenty year old or thirty year old te technology. This is very very advanced technology. So. Uh, to understand the mathematical formulation requires a lot of intricate and involved ideas in optimization in in something called Gaussian kernels and t-distributed kernels and things like that, which I will avoid for this iteration of the course. The reason being, um, if if I diverge, if I diverge, if I diverge to explain you the math, that 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 will be very very intense. The the there are a lot of mathematical concepts that you have to know as prerequisites. To understand the mathematical formulation of TSNI. That's why I'm avoiding it. But we will see how to apply it, how not to apply it. In this case, in this specific case of TSNI, I am not going into the mathematical complexity because the number of concepts that we need to understand to understand the mathematical formulation of TSNI is, 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 is a lot. And I don't want to diverge from the core topic of dimensional introduction. We did we did understand PCA very well but for TSNI you'll have to excuse me that I'm not covering the mathematical formulation just because there are a lot of mathematical concepts that we have to learn we'll have to learn three to four hours of mathematical concepts to understand the mathematical formulation of TSNI and it and it's fairly advanced so since it's very very advanced technique I'm skipping the mathematical formulation for now 